Hi everyone, about a minute on our new Generac generator. You can see it there in the back. It's a 22 kilowatt system. It's big enough to run our whole house um, and we are almost finished getting it installed. We're waiting for the natural gas line hookup. I wrote about this on my Substack a few days ago in a piece called What's Good for Generac is Bad for America. We bought one anyway. And the piece has been uh, uh, widely read, have uh, over 100 comments, over 700 views or 700 likes. Um, and there's been a big response to it. So I wanted to talk about why this issue of Generax and home generators has gotten so much interest. Before I do, if you don't know me, my name is Robert Bryce. I've been writing about speaking about energy and power for more than 30 years, written six books, co-produced two documentaries. I give you the numbers and the facts, not the spin about energy and power. Okay, so we live in central Austin, Texas. We should have reliable electricity, but unfortunately we don't. Um, yeah, it's th been three years since winter storm Uri when we lost power for over two days or almost two days. Um, but we've also had three extended blackouts uh, over the past year. And given that, we thought, well, and we're planning on staying in this house. We thought, well, let's get the generator installed because we wanna make sure we have power. And so we've spent, we're gonna spend $15,000 or more on getting this unit installed. We're going to connect it to the natural gas network, the natural gas grid, we're waiting on that. And we're going to have to pay to get a new meter for the gas grid. And a lot of people have replied saying, well, that's not enough. And you should have gone with propane. Other people have said, well, you shouldn't have to buy a Generac. And, and other people have pointed out they're very, and, and correctly that this is a class issue. I mean, we live in a pretty good neighborhood. I make a pretty good living. So we can afford the $15,000 for the Generac where a lot of folks that are just living paycheck to paycheck can't. But that's the point and it's the reason that I wrote the piece. Generac's revenues, their sales are continuing to rise. They're growing by four to 8% per year. A lot of people are doing what I'm doing. But the average, um, or rather the median household income for a Generac buyer is uh, over 130,000 uh, per year. That's twice the US median household income. So this is a class issue, but, uh, but the reality is that the grid in America, the electric grid is becoming less and less reliable. And if you look at Generac's investor statements, their investor relations documents, they point this out over and over that the grid is becoming less reliable and people are noticing it. And so they're doing what we're doing. They're installing home generator systems. Okay, so you can read my piece on Substack. Uh, I told you the title before, and you know where to find me. I'm on Substack, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.